nigga lose your first brain on Southside side nigga murder everything on Shots fire make a nigga run me What's good y'all it's me L back with another one Yeah Bridge in the gap niggas Yes I'm back again It's been a long time Is this I've been through a lot Be easy on me Okay between health issues and, you know, life. Um, no, no COVID. I got my COVID test, came back negative. But, you know, other stuff. You know, my anxiety, my depression, shit like that. So, yeah, I'm back again. I missed y'all, man. We're almost at 100 fucking subscribers. It may not seem like much. It, to somebody, but to me, it, it means a lot. So everybody who clicked that subscribe button, anybody who commented, whether you liked it or disliked it, like I said in my previous videos, I appreciate you. Now this shirt I have on is my Rebel um, 81 fashion line I'm dropping. Um, this is my baby, created this. Um, I have different other, other lines, but this is one of my babies that I'm actively working on. So that will be dropped very, very sooner than you think. And um, yeah, I came back. Um, it, while I was on hiatus, I was cruising the YouTube streets, watching my peoples. I love watching DDG, the Zooted Family. Love watching Neasy Gang. I love watching Royalty's World. Um, what's that, Jay and Tay. That, that's the new um, reactors I like watching a lot. Very, very good. So I've been watching, um, catching up on history, like different things, dabbling in this stuff. Today, I'm going to react to, who is this? Fierce Gifts. Um, it's, a, it's a short video, but it's one of a few that I'll be uploading today. Um, with Jada Pinkett telling Will Smith why she cheated. So let me just get to it. I missed y'all, man. Consider private. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody nobody's business. business yeah, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. but now Black Twitter has claimed <laughs> it as their business. But, you know... I, I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with... That, that word, I guess that's what everywhere. I said. Everybody an entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was yeah. a relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain, and I was very broken. Mm -hmm. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only to realize that that mm -hmm. wasn't possible. So, so what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with, I guess about four and a half years ago. Yeah, started a, a I think it was about four and a half, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August, mm -hmm. and we actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help. Mm -hmm. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for know? me, that was the thing when I, when, um, when Og first came around, he was, he was really, really sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick. Yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was, uh, initially about his health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to help pull him through. Will's mm -hmm. feeling and his hurt. from there, you his know, you and hurt. I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided... I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and i'll figure out how to make myself happy. well at that particular point in time it was indefinite yeah i wow. really felt like we could be over yeah know? no and, we were over and then what did you do jada well you know i think from there you know as time went on i got into a different kind of entanglement 
mm-hmm. with August. I One, launched into an interaction mm-hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm-hmm. It had been so long mm-hmm. since I felt good. Yeah. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. I think that has a lot to do with my codependency, which is another thing that I had to learn to break in the cycle. Mm-hmm. Just that idea of needing to fix mm-hmm. and being drawn to people that need help. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions, Mm -hmm. there's something about that childhood trauma Mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. versus fixing me. Mm -hmm. And I think that that whole process with all really showed me that Mm -hmm. and taught me that. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like the fact that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There's just certain things that you have to go through. And it's like... And I wish, you know... I wish that wasn't the case. (laughs) I do. I wish that wasn't the case. I sure wish it could be all magic and mirror. Yeah. You got to go through some to get the answers. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm just happy because I definitely believe that you and I, we never, ever, ever thought that we would make it back. Yeah, there's a real power in the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you really can't know that. And to go through, some- through some stuff, you know. I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first and then you will get me back. I think you got me back. <laughs> I think you <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? Try. <laughs> Okay, that might be true. You know, no, it is true. Ain't no problem. I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me, it is. Okay. Um, I'll give you that petty. (laughs) That's what you want. (laughs) See, this is the Will. This is Will's Uh, acting. Okay. Everybody's seen the same. Will acts Mm -hmm. the same character in every movie. You see him right here doing the same shit. You know, if you expect Um, to be with somebody for a lifetime 25 years and counting. Mm. Jada's being honest. We die die together. together. Bad marriage for life. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. It's the truth. It's the truth. Oh, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were were married. What'd you tell me? That I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said, this, 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 and this is going to happen, I'd be like, mm-hmm. no way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You thought I was that, that I didn't have the girth that it was going to take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah. I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How am I doing? You doing great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let me click like on this. It's a situation that I... All right. Um, shout out to Fierce Gifts. Subscribe to Fierce Gifts. Um, my thoughts on this... I get what she's saying. Because I have my own entanglement myself. Not... I, I experienced entanglements. <laughs> I've been... On the receiving end, uh, I have participated in entanglements. I, the people I was with when I wasn't playing my part, participated in entanglements. They fucked around, you know what I'm saying? But every relationship takes work. It takes absolute work. People just, a lot of people take it for face value that, okay, we're together and then we're together forever and everything is what it is. But no, that honeymoon phase ends and you get to know that person on a deeper level some sometimes not up front sometimes years later you'll find out more about your significant other that you didn't even know in the talking phase will smith has been 
famous since what? Fresh Prince. A lot of people grew up on him, including myself. Um, and I'm sure he smashed a lot of people. The other than Jada was giving people his time and his energy and his girth for, you know, for years. And when she said that she hasn't felt like that in a long time, that goes to say, like, you know what I'm saying? The only difference between both of them, her shit got out because he August ran, ran his mouth. But other than that, Jada had every right to do whatever the fuck he was doing because it's for one, they were separated. Will seems butthurt, pause, on this. Um, he seems like he's really hurt. He, like, I think he's more probably so more so embarrassed the fact that this got out. But guess what? This is what happens. This is what fucking happens. But it's good to see that they're able to communicate this, even whether it's like, because some people said it's like it seems forced. Like the smiles make them cringe because it seems like that that it's, it's not really how they feel. It's 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 like putting on a show for the camera. But at the same time. Look at this as a way that a lot of couples can can communicate. Now, me, when I'm in a relationship, someone cheat on me, I can't. I just can't deal. It's a, it's a deal breaker. It's off. But I cheated. See, I, I don't understand. But I, at the end of the day, I, it wasn't meant to be. I haven't met my significant other in totality as of yet. And that person that I've done it to and people who've done it to me, we just wasn't meant to be together. And there's nothing wrong with that. But in this situation, um, August seemed like he put his all into it. He probably they probably had discussions where she probably was gonna leave Will, considering they didn't think they was gonna talk to each other. And the fact that she probably cut it off and went back to Will. And August was hurt. That's why you see even four years later, Lord, Lord knows how long that situation ship lasted between them. But you can see it still affected August years later. Um, I pray for the families for healing. Um, I pray for them to heal um, and still communicate. Hopefully they evolve from this um, because he's, he's, he's talking about the, the, the part that gets people will tomorrow, I'm going to get you back. That's that petty fucking male ego shit. <sighs> As a matter of fact, no, I'm not even going to say male ego because women go through the shit. That is a typical ego fucking response, egotistical response saying, I'm going to get you back. Even he called, it looked like Jada, like, no, it's not about getting me back. Because if you talk about getting me back, I think you've done enough. And he's like, you're probably right. No, she is right. Nigga, you were more sneaky with your shit. She, was, she had her situation shit where she probably felt alive again. Felt wanted by somebody. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people that's currently married or in a relationship that where the significant other is not playing their part, miss that feeling. So this, this was really, this was really good. Um, but yeah, I side with Jada. I don't, I, Jada, don't feel bad for what the fuck you did. Don't apologize for what you did. Y'all separated. Sure, Will was doing his thing too, like always. So, like, it, Hollywood has a different way of living, man. Y'all know this. Hollywood, like, it's one thing to be living, like, yes, we're all human. Yes. But... The lifestyle on, let's say, middle to lower income or higher income, whatever levels, compared to celeb levels, their lifestyles is different. Lord knows the type of beliefs that they got going on up there. But all I know is that nigga, he was swinging his dick everywhere. He had to get the fuck out of here. Or sometimes, you know what? After being together for a long time, honestly, couples can get tired of each other. They can get tired of each other and get annoyed with each other and just just, just want to need to take a break and find themselves. Because some, sometimes couples feel like they get lost. They lose themselves in a relationship where they don't even recognize the shit that they used to like as an individual. Where they need to separate and see what's out there and see that nothing gets out there. That at the end of the day, this is your wife. This is your husband. And then y'all going to work the shit out. And that's, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. I'm gonna be reacting to more stuff, probably random stuff. I see a lot of YouTubers, like gnome YouTubers reacting, which just cracks me up now. And I'm like, man, it went from pranks to vlogs, now y'all doing reactions. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I give shout outs to everybody 
who were growing, who's consistent, everybody. I, I, I love everybody. I love seeing so many. I honestly say I, I don't watch TV anymore. I watch YouTube. I don't watch TV. And if I need any new shit, I find out on IG or I find out on Twitter. I'm rarely on Twitter, but a lot of shit that happens on Twitter comes to IG anyway. All right? So I'm your host. I got another one coming. On to the next one. And what do I always say? Be yourself. Be yourself. Mm. Be yourself, be yourself, be your motherfucking self. Fuck who? Fuck everyone else. I'm your host, I'm out.